here, and we have some things to go along with it. We have a free dress day on the 12th. Wear red, white, and pink. And we'll have the chance to make Valentine's Day cards to send to the Senior Center to make their Valentine's Day special. Wow, that's really nice. Did you know that we send about 100 cards a year? Really? It's true? Yup, it's true. And what about those smencils? You'll soon be getting an order form that you can fill out, and when your smencils arrive, you'll be able to send them to people in your class or someone at the school. Give me one. Okay, I will. Wow, Valentine's Day is going to be so much fun this year. On January 28th, we had our school-wide geography bee. We will be talking to Frankie, our school-wide champion. How did it feel like being our school champion? It felt good. Was it frustrating to get some of the answers? Kind from? of. Even though I uh, I studied before, but I some of them were frustrating oh. because I knew that other kids got ones I studied and other and I got ones that I never heard before. So it was okay. Do you remember one that was really hard? No, but the is the answer was Curacao, and that's random. <laughs> Thank you for speaking to us, Frankie. Yeah. Good day, CCDS. As you may know, the church had organized a spaghetti dinner to raise canned food for St. Mark's Food Pantry. CCDS has been collecting canned food for St. Mark's Food Pantry for many years. Now, Loudon will tell you some more information about the spaghetti dinner. Recently, Christ Church Day School has had a spaghetti dinner to collect canned goods from the people who attended the dinner. The 6th and 5th graders helped to wait people. The fifth graders helped count up the amount of canned goods we collected, and they buzzed the tables. We interviewed Miss Funk to ask her some questions about the spaghetti dinner in St. Mark's. First, we asked, how long has CCDS been doing the spaghetti dinners? Nine years ago, a man named David Hopkins started the spaghetti dinner, and now we say the spaghetti dinner is in his honor. So the church has been doing this for nine years. I've been helping probably about four or five years myself. But um, overall, nine years we've been collecting canned goods and helping out St. Mark's. Is it hard to take all the orders? Why or why not? Well, taking the orders sometimes can be hard, but the sixth graders and the fifth graders really make my job a lot easier. They're pretty good about reminding me what they said and helping me when I didn't hear it. Um, and the people in the kitchen really make the food move smoothly. So it can be busy, maybe not hard, but definitely sometimes it gets busy when a lot of people come in and all want that spaghetti at once. How much money and canned goods did CCDS collect at the spaghetti dinner this year? This year we had a great turnout. We collected over 380 cans and boxes and pasta, all kinds of food for the pantry, and there were $900 worth of donations that would go to St. Mark's and then they can buy extra food to fill up the shelves that they need. So quite a lot this year. And we probably served about 230 um, people. So it was good. It was a good turnout. Thank you. Thank you for your contributions to help make the spaghetti dinner a success is kindness is like a boomerang it always returns this quote means that whenever you do something kind a kind deed will soon be coming towards you the boomerang represents the kind deed hey catch thanks today on tips for kids we'll be talking about environment awareness roll the clip i'm so excited for this Hey guys, look at all this trash. I think we should clean it up. Why? It's not ours. It's not like the trash has any I think we should. It's the right, it's the right thing to do, right? Let's do it! You know what? You're right. Let's go. That was a good lesson to take in and realize that not everybody puts away their trash and puts it in the right place. Yeah, and I think we should always pick up our trash. Well, that's the end. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching! How about we give a big birthday shout out to the people who had birthdays this new month of January and new year of 2016. In fourth grade we have Bree on the 4th. In third grade there is Quentin on the 15th, Grayson on the 16th, Sachi on the 18th, Mauricio on the 19th. We have two birthdays in each two grades, second and fifth. In second, Sadie on the 2nd, Addison on the 6th, in fifth grade, we have Tatum on the 13th and myself on the 3rd. Also, Alexa from JK is on the 17th. Happy birthday to the CCDS Dolphins.